Chickens. How many of you guys own chickens at home? Just a couple of you. So your I can statement for today is I can define poultry and other chicken terminology as well as sex chickens and understand their purposes. On a scale of one to five, five being the greatest on your hand and one being the least, how many of you feel like you can already do this? All right. So what is poultry? Who knows what poultry is? Yes. A chicken. Chickens are a part of poultry. So you're on the right track. It's any domestic fowl. So it includes chickens, turkeys, ducks, and geese, as well as quail. Say, so does anyone else own anything other than chickens? A couple? What are chickens? Do anyone know what a chicken might be? Yes? A domesticated fowl with uh, combs and waddles. You're correct. So they are domestic fowl, so they're obviously poultry. So they're, unlike other birds, they do have combs and waddles. Not many other species have them. It's really just chickens. It's unique to them. So this is a comb is on the top of their head, and the waddle is underneath their mouth on their neck. So chickens are also sexually dimorphic. So birds, it's very obvious in birds and a lot of other species. It's kind of obvious in us. And say it's just physical traits. Chickens were originally domesticated from the red jungle fowl, which are located in Southeast Asia and Southwest China. So all this orange is where they're located. So that's their native range. You can still actually own the jungle fowl if you prefer it. They're still alive. Chicken terms. What is a cock or a rooster? Does anyone know what that is? Yes. A male chicken. You're correct. Say it's just an adult male chicken. How about a cockerel? Yes. A male chicken under one year. That's correct. What about a hen? Yes. Adult female chicken. You're correct. It's an adult female. How about a pullet? Yes. A female under one year. That's correct. How many of you have heard these terms before? Quite a few. All right. How about a layer? Yes. It's a female chicken that lays eggs. That that is that you're on you are right. That is a chicken that does lay eggs. A female. It's just chickens that are used exclusively for egg production. How about a broiler? Yes. They're used specifically for meat. That's right. So they're just the difference is just layers are really used for their eggs and broilers are just raised for their meat. How about a fryer? This might be a new term. Anyone remember what a fryer is? Or know what a fryer could be? Yes? A chicken raised to be grilled So the name is very interesting, but it does give away that it is used for meat, but it's just a specific term for when they're seven to ten weeks old and about two and a half to four and a half pounds when they're being processed. Now when you go to like tractor supply or you go online to buy your chicks, you might hear the see the term listed as sex chicks and straight runs. What's the difference between those two? Does anyone know what the difference might be? Yes. Um, with the sex chicks, they're separated by male and female, and then with the straight runs, they're just put all together. You actually got both of them. Say, so sex chicks are just separated by gender, and straight runs are not. And say, if you're looking for exclusively hens, you want to look for sex chicks. If you don't care if you get either or, go for straight runs. How about sexual dimorphism? I kind of went over this. Does anyone remember what it could be? Isn't it where you can um, tell which is a male and which is female by like physical traits? Yes. So you're correct and say it's just a distinct difference between the sexes of the species. Now, what's the difference between going to be the difference between a hen and a rooster? Say, I want you guys to take a look at this. So, what do you notice the difference between the roosters and the hens? What's different about them? Yes. The roosters have longer tail feathers. Yes, that is correct. And say, it might be a little harder this photo, but you can see that it's kind of a curly tail and much longer than the hen from the Sussex. And for the Rhode Island Red, you can see it's much longer, and this one's much shorter. Yes? They have bigger waddles and combs. Yes. And say, especially on the Rhode Island Reds, you can see the difference. How this comb is much larger and hers is a little smaller. Does anyone else notice anything else? You guys did get a couple of them. So physically, roosters do have longer tail feathers. You, sometimes they're a nice iridescent green, but it's not like that with all breeds, but it is with quite a few of them. They, you guys got the larger comb and waddles. You're correct about that. 
The hackle feathers, which are these neck feathers at the base of their neck, is much longer and pointier than, let's say, the hens. Let's say the hens obviously will lay eggs. That's a dead giveaway. Say the smaller the combs and waddles, more than likely a hen. So you can see how much smaller these are than on the rooster. Let's say the hackle feathers are also shorter and round. They have shorter tail feathers as well. So behaviorally, roosters will be more aggressive. And obviously, if you hear crowing, you have a rooster. Say so roosters can chase you off. They'll chase off predators. They're nice for defending the flock like that. Hens are usually more timid, but during brooding, when they're protecting their eggs and wanting to hatch chicks from them, they can be a little bit more aggressive. I want you guys, I would like you guys to review this page as I pass out our activity. Take one and pass it down. 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 Can I steal one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you guys are receiving your little sticks with hens and roosters on them, if you believe, like I, let's say I show a picture that looks like this, I want you guys to take a guess as in you think it's a rooster. If it's a rooster, face the rooster word towards me. And if you think it's a hen, face the hen word towards me. All right. Has everyone got a stick? All right. Let's practice. Do you believe this is a hen or a rooster? See a lot of hens, and you guys are correct. So this is actually a bearded chicken, or a bearded hen, so they have their little frilly feathers. What gave it away? Yes. The smaller comb on the head gave yes. it away. So that's definitely the big difference. Anyone notice anything else that could possibly mean that? Yes? The, this is the hackle, I'm using that right? Yes, the hackle feathers are on the neck. So this, this chicken has really interesting feather pattern, but you can see they're slightly more rounded at near the neck. How about this one? See a lot of roosters. Say so you are correct. What what led you to believe it's a rooster? Yes. Look at that man's comb. Yes. And say so he has very a very large comb and very large bottle. This is a naked neck chicken, by the way. What else might have given it away? Yes. He has really long tail tail feathers. Yes, he does have really long tail feathers. And say so naked necks don't typically have many feathers right here, so you can't really tell them a half of feathers. But with the comb and bottle alone, you can tell that it's a rooster. How about this chicken? See some mixed responses, but mostly rooster, and you are correct. This is a rooster. This is a Polish chicken. What gave it away? Yes. It's got really long tail feathers. Yes, it does have very large tail feathers. What else? Yes? The hackles are a bit Pointier. Yes, I'm gonna say it might be a little harder for you guys to tell in the back, but these are longer hackle feathers. And they're very large tail. I'm gonna say Polish is really hard to tell with their combs and waddles because of the big puffball on their head. So, does anyone know what we would use chickens for? Yes, me eggs and show. You're correct. I'm gonna say we tip, people typically only think of eggs and meat for when we use chickens. But we also can use them for show and companionship because a lot of chickens just are not very good at producing eggs and meat, so we like to show them or keep them as little pets. Like the Silky is definitely one of them, and so is the Polish. So does anyone know of any breeds that we might use? Yes. I believe Plymouth Rocks are used for egg laying, I think. Okay. Yes, you're correct. I say Plymouth Rocks are used for laying, as well as leghorns and ostrilorps. So these are much, these are all hens right here. And say so they are much smaller than like meat chickens. And so does anyone know what maybe a meat breed might be? So our broilers actually this year are, they're Cornish cross. So this, they're, this is their the breed that they will be. And say so black jersey giants and brahmas are also commonly used. They're very large. The Brahmas are, I think the roosters are around 10 pounds. They're very big chickens. Is it, wait, there's, does anyone know what a dual breed is? Yes. One well, that can be used for meat and eggs. You're correct about that. These are some of the breeds that are used, but dual breeds are used for both meat and eggs. They have pretty stable egg production and they're pretty bulky. Like the Naked Neck, Orpington, and the Rodon Red, they all are really great for that. Say so these are more the kind of frilly breeds, like the show breeds. 
The silky, Polish, and Cochin are, out, are often used for show and companionship because the silkies and the Polish are, are smaller and the Cochins can range in lots of sizes. But the Cochins have like feathery feet, they have shorter tails. The Polish have their big crest of feathers and so does the silky. So back to our I can statement. I can define poultry and other chicken terminology as well as sex chickens and understand their purposes. On a scale of one to five on your hands, saying five is the best, one is the worst, do you feel, how do you feel about this? All right, nice to see that some of you guys went up. So let's have a quick review. I'll say poultry is any domestic fowl. Now what is a pullet? Can anyone tell me what a pullet is? Yep. Uh, female under one here. You're correct. And a bullet is a female underworn here. How about straight run? Yes. That's when the breeds are mixed together when being sold. Yes, and say it is when they're unsexed chicks. Can anyone tell me who, which gender has the larger combs and wattles? Yes. Rooster, yeah. Yes, you're correct. It is the rooster. How about what chickens are used, what other than meat are, yeah, chickens are used for show and companionship as well. Say so that is... You typically see that as well. That concludes our presentation. Yeah.